should you be mastering your own music? There's pros and cons. Some will tell you you have to master your own music and some others will say, no, there's nothing like working with a mastering engineer. And you know, both are right, in my opinion. And this video is not gonna be about working with a mastering engineer or not. And it's not one against the other. Actually, I focus way more on the benefits on mastering music and mastering your own music, whether you work with a mastering engineer or not. Okay, so let's dive right in. Hey, before we jump in, I have a big announcement for you. You can now join my new course, The Easy Path to Pro Home Mastering, that is now available. So if you're a home studio musician, producer, engineer, looking to get the pro mastering results by working in the box, you need to check this one out. So you will discover how to simplify the complexities of mastering, uh, getting the skills and knowledge to create pro sounding home masters that you'll be proud to release and all of this by working with the tools you already have and i'm telling you there's a lot in this course it's a huge one and the doors are open for just a few days only with a special launch discount so check it out the link is down below let's get back to the video now let's talk about the reasons i think you should master your own music first of all you know you save money Let's face it, lots of home producers, home studio owners will be tight with budget, you know, and mastering your own music can give you the ability to save money, you know, on a full project, especially. I know that working with a mastering engineer is not that expensive, to be honest. You know, it's not like uh, sending out your music to be mixed by an engineer, which is a bit more pricey than mastering. And the problem home producers can face is when mastering several songs uh, out of an EP or an album, you know, at some point, it can get pricey. So saving money is actually a very good benefit on mastering your own music. The next reason why I think everyone mixing music should master music also is to understand and get into the mastering mindset. Understand the way a mastering engineer thinks. Now, mixing and mastering are completely different. The way we approach mixing is a bit like getting to a forest and looking at all the trees, opposed to mastering where it's more like taking a step back and looking at the full forest instead of all the individual trees. So that is kind of the illustration I can give someone, you know, to understand the difference between mixing and mastering, uh, which makes it a bit more complicated in a way when it comes to mastering, because, you know, you just have one stereo track to work with. It's kind of mixing a stereo channel. So every move you're going to do in mastering will affect the full mix, okay? And this is important to get into this mindset uh, before making a bunch of different moves, you know, because everything you're gonna do is gonna affect something. Because it's a bit more tricky because we don't have access to all the tracks when mastering. Again, we only have access to the left and right signal, you know, so the stereo signal basically of the full mix. So if you want to bring the vocals a bit more up front by adding a bit of EQ to just boost a bit of a, a fundamental vocal frequencies, that will also affect the drums, the bass, the guitars, you know, everything within the mix. So you have to be very gentle and the mindset is not the same. And one of the most important things that I do to get into the mastering mindset is to create a separate session when mastering. So that means that I export, bounce my mix once I'm done mixing and I create myself a new session for mastering only where I import the mix that I just bounced straight into that mastering session and I start mastering. So I don't have access to all the tracks and that forces me to get into the mastering mindset to work things out. And the goal of mastering is very simple. It's mainly to enhance a good mix to begin with before you release it to the world. That's basically it, is to make that mix better. It's the final polish of your production before you release it. So the mastering mindset is completely different compared to mixing, which leads me to the next reason why I think that if you mix music, you should learn how to master music also. And this is actually one of the biggest benefits of all. It's going to make you a better mixer. Think of it this way. Mastering is the last step of music production. Like I said earlier, it's the last step before releasing your music. So the way I look at it is kind of reverse engineering. So by learning mastering, which is the final step of music production, that will actually influence the previous music production stage, which is mixing. The same as when you mix a lot of music, you kind of realize that, oh, if I have a good recording to work with, 
the mixing process is gonna be way easier, you know? So same applies for mastering, because again, mastering is the final step and mastering is mainly to enhance a good mix. So if you wanna enjoy your, the mastering process or if you want your mastering engineer to enjoy mastering your music, you need to actually deliver a good mix. Like recording good sounding tracks, good performances will help the mixing stage. So same applies for mastering. So by learning about mastering and learn how to master music will definitely help you to be a better mixer. You'll make way better mixing decisions, knowing what is gonna happen in the mastering stage, knowing how a mastering engineer thinks, you know? So on my side, I do both with my mixes. Some of my mixes will go straight to a mastering engineer and some I will master myself. And I remember when I started to master my own music, uh, at first what I did is I always mastered my own version of the master when working with a mastering engineer. So my mastering guy was working on his master while I was mastering the same song at the same time. And I was actually able to learn this way. Cause of course, especially when I started, the mastering engineer's version was way better, you know, but that gave me the chance to improve myself and to get better at the craft of mastering. And of course, understanding the mastering mindset. And in the end, that made me a better mixer. And at first, when I started to master my own music, it was quite challenging. I was finishing a mix, import that mix into my mastering session, and always thinking about the mix. When mastering the song, I always wanted to go back into the mix session to tweak a few things. It forced me to make better mixing calls while mixing before finalizing my mix to be mastered. Um, so this was part of the learning process and those experiences made me a better mixer. And now I know that the mix I bounce and send out to mastering is gonna be easy to work with because I know exactly the limitations the person who's gonna master the music will have to work with. So by understanding that whole mastering process as a side effect made me a better mixer. And who knows, you can even develop like kind of a passion around mastering and specialize yourself in that craft. But for that, you need to understand what mastering is all about, start to mastering music and even your own music to develop that skill and you never know where that can lead you. And this is actually the reason why I decided to jump and craft a course around the art of mastering and making that whole process that actually can look pretty complicated, but make it a bit more simple and easy, you know, to learn. So breaking down those intense, complex uh, uh, concepts into a more understandable way to work. So this is what my course is about. So you can check it out again. You know, the link is down below the easy path to pro home mastering. So whether you take the course or not, I encourage you to get into mastering, to understand the craft of mastering so you can get a better mixer, which by being a better mixer will help you to record better tracks and be a better producer in the end, you know? So everything works together. So let me know down below if mastering your own music is something you wanna get into. And of course, leave me all your questions. Until next time, my friend, take care and see you.